Hey folks, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. We're back, we're live, and we are now at the McFarlane Toys booth. We've got Shamini here with us, and she's going to walk us through all the awesome stuff we've got at the McFarlane booth, starting with, my god, folks, the rumors were true. Warhammer 40K is here. I'm so excited to see this. Shamini, what can you tell us about these two 40K Space Marines? Yeah, so we just launched the brand today, um, and we are essentially coming out with, obviously, more lines coming down the pipeline, but we're showing our fans two figures here. It will be articulated, so we'll have about 20-plus points of articulation. Of course, what you're seeing here right now is just a prototype for the show, but we have the classic uh, Space Marine blue, iconic, and then if you pan over to the other side, we will have an actual paint-yourself version. So it's just like a bigger version of kind of what we all love and do with the original Warhammer 40k so it's great so you know uh, fans you guys have a lot of uh, a lot of excitement coming your way because we're gonna gonna do a lot with this brand so that's coming out fall 2020 very exciting I know Bandai did their own version that was like a hundred dollars and apparently sold out like instantly so you guys now have a second chance and uh, you know we're gonna get these because I'm all about that Warhammer life and uh, I've been dying to have like a larger scale figure to actually paint so that's very, very exciting. Uh, Shamini, is this figure already primed? Uh, n that, I actually... Not this one in here, but you know, when, when it's actually for release, uh, will they be coming primed, or will that be like something they have to do separately? Ooh, I can't answer that question, actually. <laughs> so I would have to say, wait and see. <laughs> All right, we'll go with wait and see for now. Uh, I'm going to hope that, since it is this color, it looks like it's already been primed, pretty neutral shade. So I'm going to say maybe. Let's go with a maybe. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. All right, that works for me. <laughs> So moving on over here to another franchise I'm really excited about. That's my Hero Academia. So Shamini, what do we have? Yeah, so if you pan all the way down, you're going to see some figures that are currently in stores. This is, you know, part of our Wave 1 line. Um, if you haven't already seen it, then we can quickly take you through it. So starting from the bottom here, we have um, All Might and Midoriya exclusives. So these are variants that are found only at GameStop. Um, they're really cool, and they, you know, they come up with, they come with two different accessories. So All Might does come up with another pair of hands, and so does Midoriya. He also has, I'm just going to quickly show you. Oh, he oh. also has a quirk lightning that can be removed from the actual figure, and you could wrap around his legs, arms, so it's actually really cool. If you pan up, then these are, you know, part one of our wave. So we have All Might Shigaraki, again, comes with their accessories of their hands. Um, and if we go up as well, we have Midoriya and Bakugo. Bakugo was actually a finalist for Toy of the Year. Got a lot of great receptions, so you can find them all, you know, all in store. So Walmart, GameStop, uh, Target, Amazon, it's, it's everywhere. And they're doing exceptionally well for us. Um, Bakugo does come with another pair of hands. They are closed fists. And Midoriya, if you pan over to him, Deku does come with another face. So he has a smiling face on right now. And then an angry face and a closed fist for cool fight scenes. His quirk that are, is wrapped around his hands can actually be removed as well. Like what you saw in the uh, variant figures before. Uh, and so you could wrap around his legs and so forth. Now, for wave two of My Hero Academia, we have... Do you want me to just we have um, three figures that are coming out for Wave 2. They are Shoto, Ijiro, Ijiro and o Ochaka. So, as you can see, we're super, super excited. And these are kind of the accessories that are all laid out at the moment. And, of course, everyone's fan fan. Tenya is coming out, not Wave 2, but later on. So, right now, we're just going to say Fall 2020, but um, he's coming soon. The one cool thing about her is that she does come with a flight stand, obviously, because... So we do like to show that and she comes with a helmet that you can remove from the actual figure itself and if we're panning down she comes with another hair piece um, that essentially if you don't have the helmet on you can kind of swap out with this hair piece and obviously extra pair of hands. Very excited to have uh, Uraka finally as a figure as well. He's, he's look really good. Really excited for this and the fact that you're doing so many more of this makes me very very excited. This is one line that you know, uh, McFarlane Toys, we're definitely going to be exploring and, and continue to explore because, one, it's a great license, and um, we're just excited to do more. All right, so up next. All right, up next. Oh, yeah, a new fan favorite that I think people are buzzing about. One of the most brands that people are buzzing about is obviously Cyberpunk 2077. So this one will be out in stores very soon obviously as we know the game got pushed back but that doesn't mean you can't get your favorite figures now and i would have to say let's just start going for the baby of them all which is keanu reeves like it's the one that everyone is so 
excited to see. So Johnny Silverhand in all his glory. We have here the alternate. So this one is new, not in stores at the moment. It will be coming out in spring 2020. So it is, you know, Johnny Silverhand, iconic with a, a duffel bag. The one that you're seeing right now is right. It's going to be out in stores actually uh, next month, I believe. So that's the one with his iconic, you know, guitar pose, the hand. Yep, that's the packaging that it comes with. In the back, you see here is a 12-inch figure of Johnny Silverhand. The likeness is actually amazing. Um, yeah, we're super excited about this. It doesn't have as much articulation, but it does come with a bit. The thing about McFarland Towies and I moving forward is that every figure is going to have about 22 points of articulation. So you can expect that all figures will have articulation moving forward. No need to now ask. It's We'll let you know if there's no articulation involved because that's going to be our... our motto moving forward for all of our figures and if we just scroll down as well here is v-mail in all his glory so he does come with uh two three accessories really um two is currently in his hands and there's one that you can just pan to Wrong way, pilot <laughs> it's a pew pew machine yeah all right next fortnite so the brand that really kick-started the articulation for us, uh, we have our 11-inch Leviathan that is kind of joining our line of 11-inch 11, 11 Fortnite figures. So if you pan over as well, you'll see some that are already in store, which is the Ice King and Raven. So they are currently in store. And kind of like the Cyberpunk, they do not have full range of articulation. So they come at about like, I want to say six, seven points, but um, they're mainly just sculptural figures for posing or just viewing now here we did have gliders that we first launched uh with our waves now we've scaled them up and we added new gliders to it so we have the lava wing and the frost wing glider they look insanely amazing and so essentially here you can actually pose your figures right here kind of have them hanging here and have them hanging so i can actually show you one example here with the previous glider that we had out in stores so this was the mako glider and obviously peely is hanging off it so that's kind of how you'd pose it they look pretty sick a really cool way to you know pose your figures and, and showcase them so we're super excited uh peely is new ish but he is in store at the moment and probably more obviously one of our fan favorites and one of the best ones currently in stores. We also have shopping cart, uh, comes with the shopping cart and two action figures. It is not fully articulated, but you do get the entire pack of, you know, accessories, two action figures and a shopping cart all in one. So that's a really cool thing. We also have night hair that launched, I believe in October, um, late October, just in line for Halloween. And yeah, he looks really, really cool. It's insane. Um, we also have hybrid stage four, stage three, sorry, that's right next to Night Hair. So if we scroll down a little bit, now we can actually look at the new ones that are coming down from McFarland Toys for Fortnite. So we'll start here. Uh, Frostbite is coming spring 2020. Super cool, we're super excited, he looks amazing. Uh, next to him is Vendetta, which is actually just hitting stores now, so people can get Vendetta. And again, all of them are, you know, fully articulated. The one that's next to it, I think, is going to be an insanely fan favorite because it's obviously it's a plastic patroller, but it's homage to the iconic Green Army Men. Um, and it's just a really cool action figure that I think a lot of fans are going to love. Next, Scully, currently in stores. So she's the new one of our uh, Fortnite lineup. And then I think the next one is what fans are going to love, Big Mouth. So cool. Honestly, there's just... There's so much articulation, and I believe there's a there's actually an articulation in the tongue itself. So you can move the tongue. It's part of one of them. Um, and not a lot of people know that, but that's kind of a... Spoilers. Yeah. And then if we scroll down, we have a couple that are out in stores already, but they're kind of new to the line. So we do have Red Strike, which was an Amazon exclusive, but now it's going out in stores everywhere. And then followed by Beast Mode Jackal, Beast Mode Rhino. So they kind of you know, end off our fun little Fortnite display that we have here. And if anybody has questions, remember we are live right now. If you're watching this live, that is. If not, well, you missed out. But we are live at this very moment that this stream is happening. So feel free to ask Shamini some questions. She's here to give us answers. And now we got the DC stuff. Man, you guys are killing it. You guys have killed it with the DC. I gotta oh, say. my God. It's the one that's just our fan favorite. Everyone's so excited about it. It's the thing that is just you know, causing so much excitement and buzz for us right now, obviously. Um, 
So with our DC Multiverse line, so we do have the rights for the comic books, the movies, the TV shows, uh, the animated series, you name it, we have rights to any of it. So if we kind of pan over here, you're gonna see a cool array of our first wave and also what's you know coming up. So if you haven't already you know, seen what's in our first wave, uh, first of all, yeah. Where have you been? I gotta say, I've actually had a hard time finding these guys because they've been selling out everywhere. So this is actually my first time seeing half of these figures. Oh my god! In person, I should say, yeah, in person. Yeah, they they've been doing really well. It's if you haven't gotten a chance to get them, you're gonna have to wait because we're we're doing another restock soon. So we are starting with the animated line here with Green Lantern. He looks super amazing. He is also followed by, if you scroll below, yep, animated Batman, and then we also have animated Superman right next to him. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. Yep, and all of our action figures actually come with collectible art cards. So I'm just going to pick one up to show you. Um, so it's kind of for new beginners or anyone that's not really, they don't really know about, you know, the comic book or the show or whatever. We do have at the back information specifically about Superman the Animated Series. So if we look here, for example, um, this one right here is Superman from Action Comics. 1000 so he does have his own art card and in the back it has content specifically about Superman in the action comics 1000 so it's a really cool way to get people um, you know give information to people who may not know or who want to know more about the specific figure and why we chose them oh, we, do have a question. we have a question right now from Josh Rowe asking when Batman the Batman White Knight line is gonna ha 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 yes why don't we uh yeah, let's jump. Let's jump ahead to that one so we can show that off. So this one is coming fall 2020, uh, and we are launching it, or really, we're we're showing it off today for the first time. So we do have the Batman White Knight next to Batman, or sorry, uh, Joker White Knight and Azrael White Knight. And the really cool part here is the accessories that come with Joker. So if we pan down, we're actually going to see the head of Jack, of the good guy, you know. Which is really cool because you get to swap it out and you get to really have a cool scene and, and make it really cool. So he does come with about three accessories. So does Batman and Azrael, I believe, just comes with his sword. So yeah, any other questions about that? I see one pop up. Someone's asked about King Kong versus Godzilla. Uh, but I don't think you guys yeah, that's not us. Yeah, that's not you. Yeah. yeah, we already looked at some King Kong. Oh, actually, we looked at some Godzilla stuff in NECA, but uh, yeah, nothing else. And Joker at Bulletproof Fest, yes, it is a thing. That's uh, Batman, White Knight. So. All right. We also got some multiverse stuff now. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go for uh, another new line that's coming up. So it's the Batman Arkham Asylum and Joker Arkham Asylum series figures. So we, again, they come up with their art cards and they are coming out spring 2020 as well. Um, these look super cool. Like, I, if you want to, like, pan in, the detail is just amazing on the actual figure itself. I don't know if you can. We're going to move to the new Wonder Woman. We'll come back to her in a second. But, uh... but yeah, he looks really, really cool. Super excited. I know a lot of fans are excited are excited to see Joker in our line. That's the one question that we've always gotten online. So super excited to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, we need a better shot of the White Knight figures too. Oh yeah. Because those deserve it. We do have a question, uh, or rather a request from Count Falconer who would like uh, a Lex Luthor in a business suit. Ah, all right. You know what? We'll put that in. We'll put that into our pile of requests and let's see what happens. The cool part here with DC is that because we have so much we have the rights to basically everything in their line, right? From comics to whatever. So we have the ability to go in depth. We don't need to just keep doing Batman, Superman all the time, which is I think what a lot of retailers wanted. But now we have the ability to say, okay, our collectors really want us to go deep. So we have that ability to do that. So, um, yeah. Making her debut, we've got uh, two yes, Wonder Woman figures. Yes, we do right now. Oh, there you go. She moved. Okay, so we do. Have, yeah, um, we have the Wonder Woman 1984 gold armor that is coming out in the movies. So she looks amazing. If you pan over to the face, she actually looks a little bit better here in person. Um, so this one is coming out spring 2020 in time for the movies. And again, she's fully articulated. You can actually move the wings as well. Then, of course, we have classic Wonder Woman here, um, fully articulated. She does come with a lasso. And she also comes with an art card that talks specifically about Wonder Woman and the movie and information for, you know, fans. So we do have a question, actually, about the licenses that you guys have at McFarlane. Uh, we have a question, 1960s Batman. Do you guys have the ability to get that license? If it's part of the Disney multiverse line, then we have the ability to... We, yes, we could do it. You said Disney. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. So DC multiverse. Happens. If we have it's been a long day, folks. <laughs> if we have, we have that right to the entire line. So if we were able to put him in the line, we could. It just really depends on what our lineup is going to look like. We're very specific in what we choose for our lineup. So being able to match up what we want to do, it really has to fall in place. So, you know, for example, we did the animated series. We did the White Knight series. Um, we did, like, the Detective Comics, which is currently being panned on right now. So if it fits in the line, then we'll be doing it for sure. And over here we have more series. Yes. Ones, correct? So, these guys so I'm right actually going to go with these ones first. So kind of like what I talked about before in the sense of we're able to kind of go in depth with our lines. Um, here we have Hellbat, Suit, and Superman Unchained. Armor, again, these ones were killing it. It's something that we didn't expect, but obviously because it's not your typical Batman, Superman recycled all the time, we were able to go more in depth and kind of come up with something unique for the fans, and I think fans really, really loved that. And below, this is probably the one that's doing gangbusters for us right now. Honestly, it's not even probably, it's a definite. So we have the Batman Who Laughs and Nightwing and Batgirl. So the three of them are considered our build a figure collection. So these guys actually all come with one piece in their uh, product packaging. I think, it, so if you show here, I'll kind of show it to you. It comes with one piece, so you essentially get to collect a piece and build a Batmobile, which you can pan over there. So if you collect all three, then you get to be able to build a Batmobile for yourself. Um, like we said, this series has been doing amazingly well for us, mainly because just the Batman Who Laughs looks ridiculously amazing and is the one that is really killing it for our DC lineup at the moment. Um, yeah. I've got a few questions for you from our viewers right now. So uh, one person asking for more DC Expanded Universe movies. Any chance of other characters from those? I mean, you know what? We, If we have the ability to, we can do it. It's all about um, us talking with our licensor and, you know, talking to Warner Brothers and being like, sure, you know, do we want to do this? Can we pursue this? Yes or no? Uh, for example, Wonder Woman, they were like, yes, 100%, let's do it. Um, Arrow, as you can see that you're going to pan on to now, obviously based off of the TV show. Um, so we did get that right to do that. So, I mean, it's always us going to the, you know, to our licensor and having the conversation saying, all right, cool, what do you think we can do? Let's work on something amazing. And uh, we also have a question, Wonder Woman mech suit. Oh. And uh, again, someone else requesting more DC villains. You know what? That's not the first time I've heard that request. And 100%, we hear you. That's all I can say. We hear you, though. We hear you. <laughs> All right, so that's the DC stuff, and it looks amazing. I'm just going to quickly, we didn't check up the oh, sorry, Bat Raptor. Raptor, so we do have our first vehicle in our DC line. So we have the Bat Raptor, um, movable wheels and everything. So really cool. You can actually put your um, action figures in here so that you can kind of pose with it, uh, keep them in there. So that is really cool. Now we're going to end DC, and we're going to move over to... Sorry, do you mind... The, the one that's causing a lot of buzz as well. I mean, really everything is. So let's pan over to Mortal Kombat. I don't think you said that right. I believe it's pronounced Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I know, honestly, I should have. Don't even like make me sing the song, because I actually will. Um, well, you can't just say that and not, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with Johnny Cage and Raiden. Only because right now, they're in stores. You can get them now. Um, what I really love and what we did is obviously we got Johnny Cage with an action figure. So this is, talk about like how meta can we get? We have an action figure holding his own action figure, which is, you know, we had to do that. Um, he does come with a golden, his golden trophy as well because, I mean, hello, he's Johnny Cage. He should, he should get it. We also have Raven who does come, Raven who does come with the staff and two little, you know, fire emblems that shoots out, so we're super excited about that. They look amazing, and one cool thing is that our Mortal Kombat lineup is really growing and expanding, and uh, adding to that is, of course, Spawn. So if you show Spawn in all his glory, Spawn is actually a DLC character that is dropping in March 17th, I believe. So with that, we are actually coming out with a fully articulated Spawn action figure. Um, that will be coming out March 8th exclusively at Walmart. And then starting March 13th onwards, other retailers like Amazon, uh, Target, GameStop will have Spawn as well. So do not worry if you can't get your hands on Spawn immediately when it launches on March 8th. But um, if you keep, you know, keep on track with our social channels, because a lot of people are actually asking, they're just like, 
Spawn's going to get sold out. Spawn is going to get sold out. Where can we get it? So just keep following McFarlane Toys. Uh, we'll let you know, but it is coming exclusively to Walmart first, March 8th. Next, Rock on Katana. They look super cool, and I'm super psyched. So they are coming fall 2020, um, and they're joining the Mortal Kombat lineup. They are obviously, they come with their accessories. So if you want to pan down, oh, I can actually show it. Katana does come with another head, uh, if you can see it. Um, she comes with another head that you can switch out without her mask, obviously. And Baraka has an amazing accessory his head. So you can switch out his head um, and, you know, come up with really cool, cool ways to show up the figures. All right, we're moving from Mortal Kombat. There you go. And Doom. So. <laughs> I did do the thing. Doom Slayer is currently out in stores, so this is kind of, you know, fans are already aware of it. You've seen this. We also have the bronze edition um, behind that is out in stores. But now we're coming out with two more figures from Doom. I want to point you to Marauder. So we don't have him, unfortunately, out in packaging. But, like, hello. Fans have been asking for Marauder, and I think, obviously, being McFarlane Toys, we're able to create a really cool action figure of marauder so we're super super excited to have that he's also followed by love it right here so he's coming out again in spring 2020 so we're super excited him and marauder actually are coming out together in tw uh, spring 2020 so again both are you know fully articulated these guys are already out. These, right yeah, these are all already out. So if you want to, I can quickly talk about it, but it's, yeah. everyone already knows. You guys already They're wave like, one. You're watching, you've already bought them. So yeah, 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 exactly. Bordel, Borderlands, again, these are all out in stores already. Some of them are Borderlands 3. Some of them are just from Borderlands in general. So let's move over. Um, let's go to FNAF. We'll talk about Five Nights. Building sets are, building sets are continuing at McFarlane. Yes. We cannot not do Five Nights. Uh, Five Nights just does so well for us, and I think it's just, it's so fun. And, like, I mean, who doesn't love it? It's really fun to put together, and we, we can't not do it. So we have six new sets that are coming out, um, all fall 2020. So you have here, you're looking at, uh, which one are you looking at? You are looking at the Salvage Room at the moment, so it's a super cool little mini set that we have coming out, followed by the Deluxe Concert Stage that is coming with three little figures. Um, next, you'll have Vent Repair, which honestly looks super cool. That is a medium, little small set as well. Then you have, we are looking at Corn Maze, and above that would be Star Curtain Stage, which is a small set, followed by our last micro set, Parts and Services. So, some cool sets are coming your way, Fall 2020. And then, yeah. We can go to Call of Duty. So we only have one new action figure that's coming out to the Call of Duty line currently. Uh, Ghost is currently out in stores, but it is when Ghost came out for the DLC drop. We came out with an action figure, and he looks super, super cool. He does come with in-game content, which is great um, and fun. And yeah, he just he looks amazing. Looks insanely amazing. So uh, out in stores already. It, came out a while ago, uh, Rich Chauvin, Captain Price, and Frank Woods. Those were all part of, I believe it was wave three of our Call of Duty action figure line. Next, out <laughs> next is Elder Scrolls. So we do have a license for this, and we have Alduin from Skyrim. So he's out in stores currently, and he has about 12 points of articulation. Um, honestly, it looks super cool. Like, we can't go wrong with dragons. Just insanely amazing. You can move the wings, so he has, he has some ability to move the wings as well, and the tail. Cool. And then down here, Next, this is, a big one too. this is a big one. So, following the movie Bloodshot coming out in March, we do have the Bloodshot action figure, and I actually want you to kind of zoom in on the face because that's something that's the best part of this is that it really, we got the likeness of Vin Diesel really well like he looks amazing in this action figure um we're super excited for this and you know we're, it, it matches our line it's from the comic book you know we're we're from valiant comics so we're super excited to do something paired with the movie and bloodshed is actually in stores as well so you can buy the action figure before the movie comes out cool so Another one here, we're going to bring you to something that a lot of fans are excited about. So if you're obviously a fan of Spawn, 
you were going to be super excited about this news. So we're going to show you here the Kickstarter program that essentially is coming from McFarland Toys. So we do have a program called Spawn Masterworks, essentially Masterworks, where we are giving our fans the ability to essentially buy into new products um, that they want directly. So we're not going to retailers and we're going to say, hey, we're going to have something on Kickstarter, join in and let's make something cool. So we are coming up with a spawn, fully articulated. Um, essentially, we're going to bring back the OG spawn to fans and anyone can participate in Kickstarter. So we're starting off here, but the the goal here is that we want to, if you pan down, you're going to see the old school kind of content, but we want to come back and bring newer versions of the old school content. It's still going to be an old packaging too, which is going to be really fun, but we're going to come back with fully articulated products of what we loved before and kind of give it to fans because I know a lot of fans were super hungry for it and obviously they're not in retail stores so we want to be able to give the fans the chance to order it directly this also allows us to move into reviving you know um, the tortured soul series or the movie maniac series so we have the ability to kind of go back into our our depths here and pull out stuff that you will not see in stores so we're super excited about the masterworks program this looks really, really awesome, this guy here. Cannot wait to get this. Cannot wait to kickstart it, rather, because, wow, this is a really great piece. I mean, is there any way to show us the back of this cape? Are you able to, I don't know if you're allowed to move this Let or me, not. you know what, let's, let's try it out. This is our first time for everything, folks. Look at that. That is signature McFarlane cape detail right there, folks. You're not going to get that from any other company. Nobody makes capes like McFarlane. Based on his actual real-life capes. <laughs> All right, so we have one more product here that we're gonna show you. So this is gonna, this is a new one that a lot of fans are mostly confused about. I am confused. Yes, because it is very different from what our typical products look like, which are obviously collectible action figures. But here we have Shark Shark. So it is a remote controlled um, shark that essentially you can put in water. So we have here, you can put it in the water and it's the first of its kind in the sense of it has RC motion. So what it does is, I'm just gonna quickly turn it on for you to see. Thank you. Is it working? It should. It's because I'm here, it's not working, it's camera check. Yeah, you do it while I'm holding. <gasps> I would do that. I'm not. Yeah, this is what happens when we have water live at the show. So while we're waiting for the actual shark, shark to work, um, essentially what it is, it's a remote controlled shark that has, like I said, RC motion. So you can move it front, back, side, wherever. Um, we wanted to really expand it to something cool and different. And obviously it's, like a kid's toy, but it's elevated because you can actually move around, um, put it in a pool, you know. It really tries to mimic a shark's real life movement and it does come with a remote control. Um, and what's really cool is kind of, it's the first of its kind with RC motion. So RC motion really hasn't made its wave yet for a lot of toys. And so we're really experimenting with that and we're coming up with a really cool product that is very different from what we usually do and that's what we love because we want to innovate and we want to come out with cool products so we're super excited about this and i know you can't see it live on the live stream right now but you know we're, when we're moving the shark people are stopping by and looking at it because it is really cool we have a few questions from fans been watching uh harley quinn birds of prey okay will there be a figure of that ah so you know what i'm gonna be mysterious about this and say we'll see We'll see. And um, about the shark, somebody wants to know if this can go more than three feet deep. Ha! Huh, that's actually a good question. I would say, why don't you buy it and test it out? That's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the liability is all on you, Wo Rang. <laughs> uh, all right, so I believe that's everything here at McFarland? Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys want to check out any of the cool products, we do have some displays that are set up for fans. So, um, it's a cool way to kind of showcase 
are action figures in their natural habitats. So our very cool photography, you know, designer, he came up with some great sets that allowed us to really pose and show off our action figures. So these are just great ways to kind of see the action figures in their in the natural habitat and what you can do with them. So yeah. Wrap it up then. So, thank you, Shamini, for this awesome tour of everything at McFarlane Toys. And Todd McFarlane actually just walked past us. We uh, don't think we're going to be able to get him because he's a busy dude, but he, he was here. He is here somewhere in the building. Uh, but again, so this is Matthew from Nerd News today. Oh, yeah, one last question actually. Let's do that. More Doom figures, Wolfenstein or Quake? Doom, I can say we still have that license, and the other ones we do not have the license currently. All right, and Wolfenstein and Quake, any comment? No comment. I'm not going to have a comment. Sorry. All right. No comment. So there you guys go. So, uh, all right. This is going to be it for McFarlane Toys. We might have one or two more streams today, but uh, if not, stay tuned tomorrow because we got to have a big day tomorrow. We're going to Hasbro, folks. We're looking at Ghostbusters, Transformers, Marvel Legends, all that good stuff as well. So, uh, all right, guys. Okay, there's, there's the Todd Father, folks. <laughs> all right. Off he goes to wherever the Todd Father goes. So... This is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you here later with some more live streams and everything else that we do here on this channel. Thanks for watching. And, of course, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the things. You know what to do better than I do. All right, we'll see you guys next time.